Okay, hi everybody. I am a mess and I'm in the car, in the Jeep. I have Enid with me in here. We are going to Auntie Allie and Uncle Joe's. Look at my back of my Jeep. Oh, by the way, hi, welcome. I am here. I am, uh, have been doing this for a while now and lately I've been vlogging a lot, but exciting things are coming in October. I have not uploaded in a few days. I was like on, okay, I'm uploading a lot. I'm uploading a lot. I'm uploading every day. My niece Mads has been visiting me. If you want to check out Mads' channel, it is Mads the Ghost. I'll put a link in the description box. Mads, my niece, has been here helping with my dogs and dog sitting and kind of pet sitting for me so that I can get some things done around my house because I am doing major, major decluttering. Holy crap, you guys. I have thrown away and donated so much stuff. I have bags to donate in my back seat. I have four contractor bags in the back of my car. I have so much stuff to get rid of and I have um, piles of things that are going to friends and family members that not junky stuff, not garbage either, not giving them trash. I'm giving them really cool no things. Available. Ooh, we got uh, Allie, I'm texting back, I was texting back and forth with Allie before I left my driveway. Allie is home baking bones for her farmer's market tomorrow. She has a company called Bandit Bones and she makes the best dog treats. Oh my God, my dogs love them. So I said, hey, is your dumpster empty? Because they have a dumpster, which is so cool because they don't mind. I, I always ask, but I'm like, hey, is your dumpster full or empty? I don't know when they pick it up, but I don't want to just show up. I'm not that friend who just shows up and throws stuff in my friend's dumpster because I know they have a dumpster. And they're always like, hey, if you want to bring stuff over, it's fine. But I still always ask because it's polite and it's the right thing to do. And also, you never know if it's full. So back when I did the farm sitting, um, we had a bunch of stuff to throw in the dumpster, but the dumpster was full the whole time. I don't know what was up with that. So I never got to throw all this stuff away. But we are actually ordering a dumpster soon because I'm going to be cleaning out my shed and getting rid of just a lot of stuff like broken pots, broken yard stuff, and like this broken shovel, like all these annoying things that don't really fit in a garbage can. We get like one garbage can to throw away every week, so I'm not paying extra for more because we don't need it normally. Anyway, I'm just yammering on and on and on. So long story short, I have not uploaded in the past week because Mads has been here and I have just been going crazy, crazy, crazy cleaning and getting ready for October because I'm so excited for October, honestly. I'm excited for October. I'm excited for this. I There's a meme that says, I come alive in the er months, <laughs> ending in ER, September, October, November, December. That is me. You tell my energy is like, blow up. I'm all crazy. I am so in such a good mood because I'm getting things done. The weather is cooler. I'm kicking ass, honestly, getting things done. I'm getting things organized and ready so that I will be ready to do my 31 day countdown to Halloween. So I don't want to jinx it, but I have been decluttering all my makeup that is now, I moved it, I had a studio. I'm gonna have to do a whole video. I told Mads today, I really want to do a video on my guest room that turned into an into my office slash studio and then turned back into a guest room again and how that all happened because I think it's kind of interesting and it's something that I think is cool to talk about. I'm not going to go into it now but I think I'm going to do a video on why did I get rid of my recording studio, my YouTube studio where I did my makeup and all that and I've talked about it. My, my people who always watch, um, Shirley and Adrian and Jamie and Itzel and um, Sonny's and I know I'm forgetting people but I have this handful of um, oh my god I know there's like I can see your screen names and I'm trying to remember the names you know who you are all of wavy like the ocean um, there's like a whole bunch of people who always watch my vlogs and my videos so you guys probably know like why you know I got rid of my studio and I'm like mm. But I do still love makeup and I've taken the year, I've taken months off of, about four months off of makeup now completely. <coughs> oh, here comes the coughing from the allergies. I swear every time like clockwork, right? <clears throat> Did I bring my water bottle? No. 
I thought about it and I did not bring it because I'm an idiot. I was like, oh, I should take my water bottle. Didn't bring it. <clears throat> because I will be stopping to pick up probably Wawa for my husband who's working from home today and for Mads. So I'm probably going to stop there on the way home. He is just so, she loves her crate. She just like lays in there and looks out. She's not sleeping. She's just kind of looking out. Like, do, do, do. She's getting to know that she's just happy to go with me wherever I go. So she's like, it's cool. I'm just going to lean. She's got a chewy bone in there. She's not even eating it. Um, but yeah, I've just been getting so much done. I have been decluttering all of my collector's makeup. So what I'm going to talk about in this vlog, just really quickly, it's not going to be very long. It's only a 15 minute drive to Allie's. I'll probably record a little bit on the way back also, so it's just going to be a vloggy kind of day. I just hate that I haven't uploaded in days, like a week. <laughs> At the beginning of this week, I'm like, I haven't uploaded in like four days, and now it's like probably closer to a week. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm sniffly. But I have just been so busy doing everything, and I have all this stuff to record. I have a whole list of things to record. I have a bunch of stuff I want to do. I have Enid Hall. I have... She has a bunch of new clothes, and then I have... I'm saving the Halloween costumes for the October videos, though. But anyway, so all of my makeup that was in my studio, which is now my guest room, which was previously a guest room, I reclaimed it. It was guest room when we first moved in. Then I'm like, you know what? Nobody's visiting me but a week a year. I'm taking this over. I need an office and a studio. And that was also around COVID. So like I said, that'll be a separate video. We'll review the evolution of my guest room slash studio office slash guest room. It's been a, it's been a journey over the past 20 years of what this room has been. At one point there were some chickens living in it, but the, we'll, we'll talk about that in a different video. You had chickens in your guest room. Do we even know each other? Of course I had chickens in my guest room. There were baby chicks, but still, yes, there were baby chicks in my guest room at one point. I look back now and I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? Of course, nothing in the house was done. We had like, the floors weren't done. Everything was a mess. We had ripped up the carpet. It was pre-remodeled. So I was like, well, if the place is trashed, the place is trashed. We're trashing it anyway. So yes, before I got the new coops and everything, I had gotten baby chicks and kept them in the guest room. Do, do not recommend, do not keep baby chicks in your house. There's a thing called chicken dust. It's real. It's evil. It's super allergic. And it's just dust from their feathers. It's like the dander. It gets on everything. Oh my God. Anyway, <clears throat> I am happy to say now I have the most gorgeous guest room that I'm obsessed with. And it gets used a lot. The guest room is getting used, like, probably now, like, weeks, weeks and weeks to a month and a half to two months out of the year, as opposed to it was only getting used, like, a handful of days out of the year in the past. So, uh, we'll talk about that, like I said, in a different one. But, so now, where did all that stuff go, though? All of my makeup and my collection of makeup. So, when I started YouTube, well, I've had my YouTube since March of 2009. And I've said before, I'm an idiot. I did nothing with it. I'm so stupid. I'd probably be a millionaire living, having a mansion right now and my home in Salem and all this stuff if I would have jumped on the YouTube bandwagon back in 2009. But alas, I was working full time. I was working my butt off. We were in a new state. I didn't know anyone. And I really wish I would have just started YouTubing everything back then. But, you know, it was just crazy times and everything. So I just, I couldn't do it. Also, I didn't even have any, I didn't know how to upload anything. I had like a, God, I think at the time, did I still have like a flippy phone? I had like a really crappy little phone. And I have some videos from 2009 that are here on this channel that I did upload back then. My very first videos of, were of my Chinese Cresteds. And I uploaded a video of me kayaking for my friend Jamie. And the whole reason I even started my channel back in 2009 was that was when we moved here. And I've talked about this in other videos, but I wanted a way to show people where I lived, my friends and family back in Michigan. So I started my YouTube channel with the intention of, it's a private channel, it's just to share with my family and friends back in Michigan. So I never said, oh, I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. I should have back then. I wish someone would have said, 
why don't you share your life moving to a new state? But alas, I didn't and I'm doing it now. So better late than never. But when COVID hit, I just was really struggling. My friend Jeremy really suggested I should just start doing something. And that's when I started regular uploads. And I can't believe now it's been four years and I'm still doing this. <clears throat> and I've been doing, I mean, I've taken time off here and there. But I still regularly upload more than a lot of channels that just kind of die. There's like dead channels galore on YouTube. And lots of people who start doing it and then they just stop. So the fact that I've been doing this now for four years and I have not quit and I have no plans of quitting it makes me happy. And I can't believe it's been four years. So everybody who's been with me for four years, I love you. You know who you are. Uh, as I've been cleaning and decluttering, I have found stuff that is collectible and things that are really cool. Some from Blackcraft, some from Killstar. Um, not really a lot of makeup because I don't want to, I may do a makeup giveaway and I may, oh my God, this guy has, oh, it's a lady. Sorry. I said guy because I thought she was, I thought it was a baseball hat. No, I am very sorry, lady. Sorry, lady. Um, I just, I'm all over the place, but there was a lady walking a husky, and that husky was gorgeous. I was more invested in the dog than the human, that's all. Um, my apologies to the lovely lady who has actually really gorgeous hair, like long black hair. It was in a bun, but it looked like it looked like a hat. <laughs> I thought it was a guy wearing a hat. Anywho, and I just saw the person from the back, so don't judge me. Everyone thinks I'm a dude, like look at me. When I go to stores, I have this baseball hat on and my glasses and no makeup. Every time I go to a store, I get called sir. Every single time. Every time. And I don't have like a really high voice either. So everybody's like, excuse me, sir. I'm sorry, sir. And I'm like, I go, whatever. And they're like, oh my God. And I'm like, no, it's, <coughs> look, I look like a dude right now. I know that. It's absolutely fine. I don't care. I'm not offended by that kind of thing. Call me a dude. I, I grew up with four brothers and no sisters. I'm a dude. My best friends are guys. My niece is non-binary. I have many, many gay friends who are very, like, I don't really care. I don't identify as, like, very feminine or male friends who don't, or don't identify as very masculine. So I don't have a problem with those things. Labels do not bother me. Clearly, I am a self-proclaimed weirdo. So labels are just ridiculous and a joke most of the time, in my opinion. Uh, okay, that was a sidetrack. Um... What was I saying? Oh, all my makeup. So, yeah, I had all my... I want to get back to my studio thing. So, I had all my makeup in the guest room. Then I decided I want to make this into a guest room again. And I have way too much makeup. Well, when I started doing my YouTube in 2020, I really got into collecting makeup. And there's a whole bunch of reasons why that is. First of all, my doctor put me on antidepressants. I need to do a whole video of, about my journey being off antidepressants on them and then off them for the last, God, what, um, two years now? Or no, year and a half, year and a half. I went off of them in June, or no, July of 2023 when I went to Paris. I went off my antidepressants. I have not looked back since. I have had losses since then. I have lost friends. I have lost two dogs. Two, two of my beloved Chinese Cresteds this year alone. I have not wanted to go on my antidepressants again. I have not felt like I needed to. I am, I've really, the antidepressants were great for what they were and getting me through a really hard time after losing my mom and co well, COVID hitting, then I lost my mom and I lost basically all my work, everything. COVID basically killed everything I was doing. It all came to a screeching halt and they were all my ways that I, th things that made me, me at the time. So I really, really, uh, it was really bad. It was, it was not good times for me. Okay. I need to figure out how to do this. I'm going to do this. Oh, I see a kitty. I'm here. Uh, anyway, so yeah, uh, November 2020 antidepressants will continue after I do the garbage. I'll be right back. <laughs> back. If you guys only knew how long it has been since I recorded that. Oh my God. It's kind of funny. I was like, oh, I'm not going to be that long. And I haven't seen Allie in a while. I mean, well, okay. There's been a lot going on. Anyway, 
Um, Allie is my gym buddy and friend, and I do farm sitting for Joe and Allie and everything. So um, we were just, she was baking biscuits for the, the farmer's market tomorrow. She makes dog biscuits. She has a company called Bandit Bones. And oh my God, I smell like a bakery now. She was making all the peanut butter biscuits. So Enid was with me and Enid and I totally smell like peanut butter biscuits. It's awesome. Anyway, oh my God. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to be there that long. Like hour and a half goes by. <laughs> we had a lot of catching up to do. Anyway, so back to November 2020. Now, um, I don't want this whole thing to be about this, but basically November 2020 is when... Well, I knew in 2020 I was going to start uploading regularly on YouTube again because I had to do something because it just felt like, you know, by then we were all like, yeah, two weeks. Back in March, everything's going to be closed for two weeks. Yeah, bullshit full of lies, lies, lying liars who lie. It was not two weeks. It was like a whole year. Okay. Anyway, um, couldn't teach yoga, couldn't do anything, couldn't run, no races, everything canceled. And I was so depressed and I just felt like, what am I doing? So that's when I started doing YouTube and I kind of wanted to have a designated area. So the guest room, nobody was ever, nobody was visiting obviously in 2020, right? So my guest room sat empty that whole year. I'm like, well, I'm going to make this into a studio because I feel like this pandemic bullshit's never going to end. They're never going to let us go back to a normal life again. I had lost all hope at that point, you guys. It was bad. I just kind of gave up on everything. So I'm like, I'm going to make my studio and just do a YouTube channel and talk to a camera because I guess I'm never going to see another human being ever in my life again. That's how depressed I was. Uh, anyway, and thus this channel was born. Now, it's funny because my channel, comment below if you have been with me since my channel name was Embolism Red. It was Embolism Red because that was my stage name in Detroit in my band. And uh, it's kind of a funny story. Oh, I, got, I talked about it in the past, but not in a long time. Embolism was a name I came up because the lead singer of my band, who's my friend Jamie, my bestie bestie, roommate for like 10 years, besties for 30 years now, over 30 years. Um, he said, come up with a stage name that something to do with an M. And I'm like, M, M path, M embarrassing. Um, and I was thinking if I, I go, oh, embolism. And I know it has an E, but I go, oh my God, I'll just drop the E and spell it M bolism. And that'll be my stage name. And I thought it was hilarious because my best friend is a doctor. And I thought that was a funny name. And I said, yeah, my stage name is embolism because I'm silent, but deadly. <laughs> and I thought it was really funny. I just thought I was like the cleverest person in the world for coming up with that. Uh, anywho, <laughs> so yeah, that's how I came up with Embolism Red. And it was red because I always wore red. I had red hair. So I'm like, well, if I have to have, and things would ask me online, like, what's the last name? So I'm like, Embolism, no last name. I never put my real name in. And uh, so I'm like, well, I guess I need a last name. I'm like, well, I have red hair and I have a red truck. So uh, it'll be Embolism Red. And that's how red happened. So that was my channel name of this channel you were watching right now. From 2009 all the way until just a couple of years ago when I realized that it was not a good name for people to try to figure out how to spell and find me they couldn't find my channel like I would tell people about my channel and I go oh it's embolism red and they're like what e-m-b-o I would never show up anywhere it was like a bad SEO bad SEO calling yourself embolism red and not and dropping the e from embolism plus a lot of people don't even know what an embolism is if you do comment below no um if you had a roommate who went to medical school and you were their roommate through their medical school uh journey comment below you learned everything about medicine everything you never wanted to know about medicine because your roommate was a doctor interesting anyways uh yeah so that was my stage name and What's up, baby? I know we're going, we're going. Ugh. And I changed it because I realized as I was trying to... What, Bubba? Are you, you like my old name? Oh my goodness, she liked my old... She's getting very fussy. Oh, oh. No, we're at a light. I can't take you out right now, sweetheart. Uh, no, it's just, I just realized I was trying to grow my channel and I'm like, what is the deal? Like why it wasn't going well. And part of it was just the name. You know, you have to have a name that like, 
I know I have people who I follow on here and I'm subscribed to their channels, but there's people who want me to follow them. And I'm like, dude, what? I can't remember your name, your YouTube name. I either can't remember it or I can't spell it or I can't spell it correctly, you know, and it just becomes like problems, you know, it becomes problematic when you're, oh my God, stop. It becomes very problematic when you're trying to um, find someone on YouTube and you can't spell their name and the search can't spell their name and has no idea who you're talking about. So just a thing, like if you're trying to grow a channel and you're having trouble with people finding you, just just consider that. It's really, it's so hard to change your channel name too because you're like, oh, but I did all this and I put all my eggs in this basket of being this name and now I'm going to change it. And... Uh, the thing was, everybody called me Mayor, and that was my nickname. All my friends in Michigan called me Mayor. So, like, Mayor Winningham, the actress who's in, uh, and my name is actually, it's not Mayor, it's short for my name. But all my dog friends, my Iggy friends, my Italian Greyhound friends in Michigan all called me Mayor. Val called me Mayor, Sarah called me Mayor, everybody. Um, so, Mayor was an easy thing, and then I'm like, well, I love Nightmare Before Christmas. That's kind of mine and my hubby's thing is Jack and Sally. And we are totally Jack and Sally <laughs> and our little dog Zero, who is Rusty. And so Nightmare turned into a thing. And then I, Jeremy nicknamed me, uh, came up with Bliss. Jeremy's contribution, my best friend Jeremy, I said, I need something. It, it has to be Nightmare or something. And he goes, have it be something the opposite of a nightmare. And he goes, have it be Nightmare Bliss. And I thought, that's actually kind of genius because it's something dark and scary, like a nightmare, but then bliss. And, or maybe you think nightmares are bliss. Maybe you're a horror movie lover. Or Nightmare Before Christmas. Maybe that's where you find your happiness in the dark things like I do. So that's kind of how the name came about. But it was really hard to change my name. I really, I know, baby. I know, Miss Enid, speaking of names. And I already, let me tell you, there's like five times I've already wanted to change her name. It's really, I understand why kids will be like, my parents gave me this name and I want to change it because it's not me. Let me tell you, even when you get a puppy, you think you come up with the perfect name and then as you get to know the puppy and it gets older and it develops and has its own personality, you're like, yeah, maybe I picked the wrong name for this one. I don't know, I might've picked the wrong name there, you know? And it gets a little weird because you're like, I might've picked the wrong name for this dog. <laughs> and honestly, I kind of feel that way about her sometimes. Honestly, I really do. Uh, but I do love Enid and the name Enid for her because of Wednesday. And we call her E. Her nickname is E. And my husband calls her Eek a mouse. <laughs> Eek a mouse. You answer to Eek a mouse. And she answers to E. And in sign language, E. So she has a sign language name, E, even though she can hear, but Casper can't. So E. And I point to her and I go, E. That's E. This is e. I'm going to Tractor Supply right now because I just realized I'm out of chicken food <laughs> and I really need to go to Tractor Supply for chicken food and I am behind the slowest person in the history of people right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a little old person. It's a little old lady and she can, I, dude, she could barely fit above the steering wheel. That's funny. Oh, that's why I didn't drive like a jerk. Oh, there's a guy with a puppy buying a dog. Oh, he's got like a little chocolate lab puppy and he's walking out with a big bed for it. How cute. Okay, so I'm gonna take her and run in and grab a couple of things and I will be back. And then I have to grab my hubby some food and then I'm going home. So I will be right back. Okay, I am in line at McDonald's because my husband wanted cheeseburgers. <laughs> and Enid is very happy because I bought we went to Tractor Supply and I got a whole bag of Chewies and Bones. Casper was out of pig ears, so I had to get him some pig ears. Uh, I'll be right back. Let me get my food. I got my husband a couple of cheeseburgers, so he's going to be happy. And I got some fries to nibble on. Are you working on that, Enid? She is working on this, which is like way, way bigger than her, which is hilarious. But really, that's for Casper. Uh, but she needs things to teethe on. She is teething so much. It's like a baby. Ang, ang. Everything is like, ang, ang, ang. she's mega teething because she's like, what are you, 16, 17 weeks old now? Something like that. Why are there little bugs in my car? Ugh. 
So, I know this has been all over the place, but no, you gotta stay in there, baby. I know you smell the McDonald's. I know, baby. I know. Then you eat your bone. Get your bone. Uh, I was talking about 2020 and my studio. And all See, I took my whole studio apart. So now, everything that I took out of my studio where I was doing my YouTube videos, I just got to a point where I'm like, I'm over the overconsumption stuff like everybody is right now. It's like, the trying to keep up with the Joneses thing on YouTube and on everything. It's ridiculous. And take it from me, if you're a person who's doing this, do not feel like you need to keep buying stuff to be on YouTube. It's ridiculous anymore. For one thing, I just, it doesn't make you happy. I mean, maybe it does in the short term, but wait four years to when you get to where I am now. You wait four years of all this stuff and you're like, A, I don't really need all this. B, it's just, it's in the way. There's a lot of stuff I do not regret getting, but I would say like, honestly, you guys, like 90% of the stuff that I've bought in the last four years, three and a half years, because I really, I stopped last December, but in the first couple of years I was on YouTube, I was getting Ipsy, I was getting Birchbox, I was getting BoxyCharm, and I wasn't just getting basic BoxyCharm, I was getting all three of them, so I would get like three BoxyCharms in a month. Nobody needs all that. Right now, though, my skin is looking so much better. Uh, I'm going through all my skincare stuff, and I am, like, back to full-on using every skincare thing I have. Okay, my food's ready. Hold on. Let me drive up. Be right back. Okay, I'm still waiting. I did my mobile order as I turned into the parking lot. It was kind of a pain in the butt. I was trying to get it done at Church of Supply, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, just waiting. Hopefully, it should be done any second couple people behind me. I'm kind of surprised they didn't ask me to pull over there or pull up front, but also nobody was behind me until a second ago. So it is now 2.32 in the afternoon. Oh my god. So I'm um, sorry, I'm just kind of watching because if they come out, I'll stop talking. But so um, I have all this makeup and all this skincare and all this stuff, but it's also a lot of things that went out of date because I started my channel four years ago. Some of this stuff has been sitting and a lot of it's like half used, okay? I did get a lot of use out of things, so I didn't feel bad. Sorry, I was saying I she came to the window, so I had to abruptly stop. So I did not feel bad, um, like letting a lot of the things go. Like I don't, I had to like empty out all the skincare stuff that was goopy and gross, and then like recycle it or whatnot. Go on, dude, I will let you go, there you go. I was going really slow so this guy could make a left. See how nice I am? Wow, gas went way up. No, you need to stop. Uh, so yeah, a lot of it, it was like skincare that was like three quarters used or over half and things that I had tried and used. I'm like, okay, like this, like this. But luckily, like my Elemis and a lot of my stuff is still fine. Oh my God, she smells daddy's cheeseburgers and now she's angry and wants them. So as I was going through everything though, I'm like, I really, really want to... Um, I've been talking about wanting to make up again, but I've been holding off because I am looking forward to October. October is my big makeup month and probably going from October forward. I'm challenging it myself in October. I have chosen all of my favorite Halloween themed palettes. Some of them I have never used, some of them are new, uh, but I have all these Halloween themed palettes and some of them are old. I am like, I am like pulling out from the archives. I am pulling out a bunch of the stuff from the archives and from the collection that I've never used. And on the one hand, I'm like, there's some stuff I want to sell. Oh, speaking of selling, I have three huge boxes of makeup that I'm going to be putting on like Poshmark and Mercari. I'm probably just going to choose one or the other or eBay. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Um, I don't know, but I'm going to have a whole bunch of stuff listed for sale from my collection. And it's funny because I told my husband, I said, you know, now I'm kind of happy that I bought all this stuff and collected it and had a makeup collection of things that I bought because they were collectible and I never used them. And guess what? Oh my God. Some of my palettes now are on Poshmark and Mercari for like $150. I'm not, I don't know if anyone's buying them, but I see them for sale. And I also have some things that People have partial collections for sale, but not full collections. And even the partial collections are insanely expensive. So what I'm planning on doing is 
selling everything, everything that was my collectible stuff. I'm just ready to let it go. I don't need to hang on to it anymore. I've held on to some of this stuff for like four years and I'm just ready to let it go. Let it go to somebody who will really appreciate it because right now it's just sitting in boxes in my house. And uh, I'm also going to do some bundles. I have some like, some things that are more like some color pop. I have palettes of ColourPop I've never used, and I've always meant to use them, and I like them, but I've never used them. So I'm gonna uh, get out of the road, Squirrely. There we go. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome, because there's a car coming. Saving squirrels. Saving all the squirrels in the Poconos, one day at a time. Uh, but there's a lot of stuff, like I know, like ColourPop will make a palette, and somebody will fall in love with it, and there are people out there. There are. I've never met them, but there are people who will find a palette they love and they're like, I'm in love with this palette. I don't want any other palettes. And they just use the crap out of it. And they're like, then the brand doesn't make it anymore. And they're like, oh crap. Uh, either find a new one or find that one used or something. I've done that with lip balms. I've done that with a couple of items where I'm like, I love this item so much that I will go on Poshmark or Mercari or somewhere to find them because I like the formula so much and the company either doesn't make it anymore or they change the formula or something. So you're like, you need to go find it. So that's what I'm kind of like counting on is maybe there's people who like certain color pop palettes or like, oh, I always wanted that one. At the time I couldn't get it or it sold out and now I can get it used. And my color pop ones, I'm not gonna like jack the price way up and charge a lot for them. I just want someone to, you know, who wants them to have them, if, if that makes sense. And I don't want to just give, I gave away, what, I gave away literally thousands of dollars worth of makeup already donated. And I can't give any more makeup away. It's, I spent so much money on it and I got bills, y'all. I can't give any more away. I've given so much stuff away for free that I could have used to pay bills. So I feel like I've done a good deed with the amount of makeup I've given away. I'm done with that okay I can't give any more away so the makeup that I do have is all collectible and it's going to go on Mercari and the color pop I'm going to still give some of that away to a couple of friends and to my niece and whatnot but most of that is just going to be in bundles on Mercari or Poshmark or eBay or something probably but I'm going to give a lot away first of the color pop and then I'll see where I am and I do have other YouTuber friends who I'm going to be sending stuff to um there's a few and I've already talked to them and they know so you know so there's that so there are a few other things I'm giving away but mostly I am done donating and now the things that I still have are actually very collectible and worth money and I can't just let them go I mean all the money I spent on all this I have gotten zero money back from it I don't make money on YouTube my channel is monetized but I have yet to get a first check and I've been monetized for like two years because I'm very small and I'm a niche channel I know that whatever I'm not even mad about it it's like it is what it is but I can't just give away everything I own I spent money on all this so I am not gonna feel guilty about the stuff I'm not donating because I donated way more than what I'm selling my ears are popping anyway that all being said I am really enjoying having way less and I'm loving the idea of like I'm not going to have a lot of stuff I'm just going to have like basics and I want to do makeup again but I want to keep it simple I think it gets to a point where you have so much makeup that like the people like the influencers they use a palette one time they never touch it again and they never use it again that's where I was getting I was like I've had palettes I've used several times or a bunch of times but I also have palettes that I touched once and never used them and I'm just like you know what I'd rather have them go to someone else or sell them, the ones that I've never used. There are some I've never used that I do have in a box, and I'm like, I will use these because I fell in love with them for a reason, and I really want to use them. But I really am rethinking the way I want to do makeup and they, the way I want to present makeup on my channel, so you're going to have to stay tuned to see that. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm not going to tell you what it is. Anyway, I'm almost home, but I am excited for October. I am going to have some other stuff all this last week of September. There's going to be a bunch of stuff coming up that's not makeup related and some makeup. Hopefully, if all goes well. I'm starting a regimen and I'm changing to be like, I always look at makeup as I'm too busy to have makeup on. I'm doing, I'm grooming dogs next week. Why do I want to have makeup on? I want to approach my makeup as a self-care thing and see how that plays for me. And 
I'm going to try it and I'm going to give it a chance. I don't know if I'll like it. I don't know if I consider it a self-care thing, but I'm going to try it and I'm going to report to you guys in real time every day. Is makeup as self-care for me or not? Or could it be for you? Maybe you don't, maybe you look at makeup too as like a chore and then at the end of the night, you just got to wash it off and through the day, you got to touch it up. Is that really self-care? I don't know. It sounds exhausting to me. So I want to try this. And it's like, you don't know, I'm I'm one of the, you don't know until you try it, right? When I was doing makeup for YouTube, I was not really enjoying it, okay? Because I would do it for you guys, and I'm like, is this for me? No, it, it's creative, it's fun, but I don't feel like it's really for me. I want to do my makeup for me, present it to you, and I think that might even be more approachable and more, like, relatable, because I don't want to do, I've had people, and I think Shirley is one in a couple, it was like, I'm not going to do people watching me, they're like, I'm not going to wear seven shades of eyeshadow and fake lashes and all this craziness to go to the grocery store, right? And I'm like, well, I will for fun sometimes. I might do crazy makeup and go out just as an experiment. But I can't, I told my niece, I said, I cannot be bothered in October to do full glam every day. I am not doing full glam makeup on a daily basis here. I cannot do it. I don't think that's self-care. I think that's self-loathing and it's self, I want to torture myself and try to, and it's too much pressure. It is too much pressure to do full glam every day unless you are so obsessed with makeup. If you are, that's great, do that. But I want to say the majority of people don't have the time or the money or the inclination or the energy to do full glam every day. Uh, especially not when you ain't getting paid, you know, $25,000 influencer prices by brands and crap like that. If they're paying your bills, yeah. If some brands want to pay me $25,000 to do full glam every day, I'm on it. I will do it. But for me, no, that is not self-care. That is self-torture. Not going to do it. So that being said, get ready for a different kind of makeup when I return to makeup. It is going to be much more, I want to say simple. I want to scale it down. I want to make it like what do I really like about makeup? What makes me feel good about it? I don't want to cover my whole face. I don't want to do full glam. I don't want a whole face of makeup. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't know. I'm, I'm actually not disliking my face. I don't want to change my face completely. I want to play up some things and stuff. So it, and it's going to be fun. So anyway, I am home. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, I am going to go deliver this food because I know my husband's starving. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye for now.